all right welcome back folks to another episode of scarlet nexus uh i was really trying to get the bonding all done in the previous episode so we could just keep plugging through the the phases um but we still have lucas um so we'll do lucas and then we'll we should be ready for the next phase little part of me wishes i would have kept this stuff like off episode but uh uh, it is what it is, I guess. Any gift? No, no gifts for you. Um. So yeah, let's let's see what he's got to say or do. Yuito, this is perfect. Will you accompany me to the gym? Yeah, sure. Are we lifting weights? If so, why don't we invite Gemma? I'd like to keep it the two of us today. There is something I wish to confirm with you. Uh, oh. Okay. What does he want to confirm? So, what do you want to confirm? <laughs> this isn't like a strength test. No, we are not here to train. I brought you here because there's no one oh. around, making it perfect for us to talk alone. Uh oh. Is something wrong? Remember when we went to the old OSF hospital? Yeah, that was a rough day. Did you hear the researchers talking about my brother and me? Oh. Well, uh... You're as bad at lying as ever. So you know then, that my brother and I were duds. Yeah, I didn't say anything because I thought it would bother you. I see. Uh, thank you for your concern. He won't look at me. Maybe he didn't want me to know. I mean, you were a dud too. After we returned to the hideout from the old OSF hospital, you told everyone that you were a dud. Your face changed when you looked at me. That made me believe that perhaps you knew. Oh, you could see it on my face. Sorry. Don't be. It was inevitable that you would find out. I am curious, though. Why did you feel it was necessary to tell everyone that you were one? Um, it's a handicap to be a dud in this world. I fail to see how that knowledge being public would help you. Well, I didn't think that any of you would treat me differently just because I said I was a dud. And everyone reacted just like I thought they would. It made me realize there's a lot of good in my life. <laughs> I don't think anyone would care if you told them. I don't agree. Luca... Unlike you, I've lived knowing the burden of being a dud. I may be a Septentrion, but my power was implanted through experiments. I wasn't born with it. It could suddenly disappear one day. And when that happens, the public will turn on me. That's the fear I've always lived with. I can't just change and become carefree like you. No matter what the public thinks, you're still Luca. You've been fighting in the OSF for so long. You work harder than anyone else and achieved a lot. That won't change no matter what people say. You are strong. Your strength lies in the fact that you can say that. But I am not like you. Or my brother. I am not strong enough to fight against the tide. Luca. This is who I am. Please, promise me. Please, don't tell anyone that I am a dud. Okay. I promise I won't. Thank you. And that's all I wanted to talk about. I'm going back now. I am counting on you. Don't worry. I'll keep my promise. He looked worried. I know the secret he kept for so many years. Maybe me promising isn't enough. No. I just have to work to make sure he's not threatened. I'll keep my word, no matter what. Hmm, he was really worried about that. Oh, <clears throat> let's see. No replies. Why do, why do people keep saying that? No replies necessary. Fuck off, leave me alone. 
Oh, right. I think we've done all the gifting. We've done all the bonding that we could possibly do. Let's save and move on. On to phase nine. Go back to Suo. All right. We're going back to Suo, but they think we're rebels. When we get there, do you think they'll send the National Defense Forces or the OSF after us? Even if we do get caught, who says we won't be able to make a request to see the chief? We'll most likely get our personalities rehabilitated before then. I thought about it. And I think it might be best to say we want to see my brother right off the bat. Yuita, that's bold. I'm sure they know we've been all over, learning secrets. My brother takes the Sumeragi name seriously. I think he'll want to persuade me to join him. Now that I'm branded a rebel, he might expect me to come crying to him. That's crazy. I'm almost certain that he's waiting for me. All right. But we should do what we can to prepare for a confrontation. Yeah, I know. I sure do hope Kaito hears you out. It'll be nice to get some new information from him as well. There's probably many things we still don't know. I agree. And he is the head of the OSF. So it is safe to say that he knows just as many secrets as the counselors. I guess if that's the case, maybe it is worth trying. What is it, Wataru? No, it, it's just... I, I was thinking of ways I could support you from here. Anyway, don't worry about it. Okay. Keep up the good work. All right? Let's head out to Suo. Phase 9, Eternal Vow, Eternal Bond. It is definitely getting intense. going on there aren't any soldiers no they're just hiding this whole area is surrounded by the national defense forces they're waiting to ambush the rebels but something isn't right they're definitely planning something even if it's a trap all we can do is go straight in let's head to the osf headquarters someone's coming this way is that Hey, Yuito. I missed you. Nagi? What are you doing here? What am I doing here? <laughs> Just hanging out, you know? I'm here to clean the rebel filth out from the great new Himuka. Is it new Himuka's plan to make us fight Nagi? I won't do it. We don't need to fight. Nagi, run away with us. We'll He's brainwashed, dude. Just, just give up. If they can just change you like that, there must be a way to change you back. What? I can't go now. The fun's about to start. I'm gonna kill you and rip out your brain. Oh, he wants my brain. Maybe he's ordered to get Yuito's brain. What? Hey, Yuito. We're friends. You'd do me a favor, wouldn't you? Give me your brain! He's so strong. This isn't just personality rehabilitation. He's received some kind of power enhancement. Damn! Why? Why is this happening? I just told you he's brainwashed. To fight? Feel free to stand there if you don't want to fight me! I'm gonna cut off that ugly head of yours either way! Oh, it's just me and Gamma? Nagi's power is rapidly increasing. 
Any hesitation could be deadly. It's close. Why is it just me and Gemma? That was weird. Let him kill you, Ito. We're gonna stop him with everything we have. Use my power when you can't anticipate the shot from movement. I'm borrowing this, Gemma. Sanaki told me that he wasn't suited to use bias. Might have been attached with no thought given to the negative effects it may have on the brain. That's awful. He's a human being. Ouch. Welcome to phase nine. We start with a boss fight. Looks like he just went Super Saiyan. What, what you running from? What you running from? Time for a brain crush. Oh my god, dude. Knock it off with the, sh the fucking truck in here. Where's he at? There he is. Brainfield? Ooh, this is gonna be fun. Dodge it. Let's dodge everything. Oh, that one hurt. Yeah, man. Why do you do so much damage, bro? How? Oh. 
Now you're just juggling me. Stop that. Ooh, all of us are doing it? Hell yeah. Stop Damn. Damn. Why? Why won't you just die, Yuito? Stop it. There's no reason for us to fight. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Oh. Kill you. I must have your brain. What's wrong? Uh, no. Shut up. Don't tell me what to do. Stop. Stop. You eat is this why am i <sighs> nagi's brain this is horrible yuito you can't move him wake up uh, yuito i uh... nagi you are you yourself sorry i didn't know what was happening the voice said I had to kill you don't apologize it's not your fault it was all the people who did this to you I didn't want to fight you I tried to resist but it hurt so much they told me to kill you that they'd kill me if I didn't I was so scared so I couldn't stop there was nothing else I could do. Every time he resisted, they sent him to personality rehabilitation. How can they be so cruel? I'm fine, so don't be so hard on yourself. You don't have to be afraid of their threats anymore. I'll fight with you. <laughs> Yuito, you're so... How did this happen? We were always together. Ever since we were cadets, we were finally OSF. In Seto Platoon, I thought we could still goof off together. I... I have to apologize to Captain Seto, but it's too late. <laughs> I thought that when I died, it would be more heroic, you know? Going out in a blaze of glory, fighting another. Look at me. I'm no hero. Tell me. How did I... How did I... mess everything up so bad? Hey, Yuito. If... I was gonna die either way. What... What should I have done differently, huh?
Haki. Haki. And they're really trying to pull at your heartstrings. <laughs> wrong, Nagi. It was the country that did this to you. They're the ones to blame. And I didn't know what to do. You were the one who suggested we join the OSF. I said I wanted to save people. I couldn't even protect you. I'm sorry. I will avenge you. That's a promise I can keep. Yuito? I'm fine. I hate just leaving him there. Yeah. We'll take care of him later. We have to go see my brother. He's a government official. He probably had something to do with Nagi waiting here to ambush us. No way. You think Kaito would use Nagi to get at you? I don't know. Either way, we have to meet. The National Defense Forces are surrounding the path to OSF headquarters. They haven't given up on capturing the traitors. They're probably no match for you, but be careful. Oh, and Yuito? Take it easy. Thanks, Wataru. All right, let's head to OSF headquarters. Damn. You gotta level up three points and i can't do nothing with that it's honestly just it's as nice as it seems i don't think i want to waste three points on that okay defeating enemies with brain crush while bearing drive is active Slightly restores the brain drive gauge. Restores status ailments when brain drive is at. Even though I should have probably gotten one of those two. What's going on in OSF headquarters, Watru? Watru, do you copy? Huh? Oh, sorry. You can. Something's up with him. Yeah, he's a little spacious. It's uh kind of sus. Hey bro, you mind uh whoa. I'm not trying to kill you or nothing. Uh, let's buy let's buy some uh, healing. Should be good for now. All right, let's go ahead and save. Let's head to the headquarters. Brother, we are coming to get answers. You are going to give us these answers we are seeking. Well, I guess I could have saved it that one. There's no one in front of OSF headquarters. There aren't any OSF or National Defense Forces. What's going on? Look at that. Suo Chief's headquarter or uh, Chief's office, sorry. So he's just letting us in? Hmm. This is sus. Any interference since we got to headquarters. They must have ordered everyone out. The only person in that room is Chief Sumeragi. So he's waiting for me. 
just like I thought. It'll be difficult supporting you going forward. Do your best talking to the chief. You mean the network's going to get cut off? No. I'll tell you why later. Just do your best. Got it. We'll do. Everyone ready? Here we go. Time to meet Big Bro. Kaito. I figured you'd come by. Yuito. He looks like a dick. I wanted to talk to the new Himuka government about Seiron. So here I am. I figured since you're with the government, you'd listen to me. Your safety has been assured for that purpose. I assume you want me to remove your status as a rebel? Before we get into that, Kaito, there's something I need to ask you. Was it you that sent Nagi after me? What if it was? <coughs> How could... Unfortunately, he failed. We gave him so many enhancements, yet he was still a failure. Don't say that about Nagi! Yuito, I know how you feel, but... It is awful, but you must hold yourself back. Why, Kaito? Why did you do that? What did Nagi ever do? He knew about the secret of metamorphosis, so he was rehabilitated. I'm sure you know all about that. He was the perfect subject for testing power enhancement on an OSF soldier. Also, he was exactly what we needed to tame you. That power of yours. New Himuka needs the special gravikinesis power you have. I thought you'd be open to the idea if we used your friend. But you really are irritating. You did all of that to Nagi just to get my power? I wouldn't have needed to do this if you had just done what the government wanted. If you had come to me as soon as you were branded a rebel, I could have taken care of it. You've always been like this. You do whatever you want, without listening to my advice. You don't act at all like a Sumeragi. That's why Father never told you. Tell me what? That it's our destiny to fulfill the wishes of Yakumo Sumeragi. Wishes? It doesn't matter. You don't need to know. Does it have something to do with the moon? Yakumo Sumeragi was one of the first colonists from the moon. Where did you learn that? In Togetsu. We went to Togetsu and found a lot of information that New Himuka is hiding. You went to Togetsu? So that's where you disappeared to. I already told you I want to talk. If we don't stop Togetsu, New Himuka will... There isn't a single piece of information that comes out of Togetsu worth trusting. Don't tell me you've been brainwashed. Who are you calling brainwashed? We looked into what we learned in Togetsu, and we think we can trust it. Silence! You were just seduced by them without knowing Yakumo Sumeragi's noble purpose. I'll teach you some real history. We were sent to Earth, our motherland, in order to reduce the human population on the moon. Not only that, they created the Extinction Belt and sealed the colonists on Earth. What? The Extinction Belt was created by the people on the moon? Now you see just how diabolical the moon is. After much hardship, Yakumo Sumeragi created New Himuka and came to a decision that someday we would destroy the Extinction Belt and attack the moon. We inherited Yakumo Sumeragi's will, and we must exact our revenge on the moon. Revenge? That's what Yakumo wanted? Yes. It is our destiny to fulfill the Founding Father's wishes. It is that very reason New Himuka exists. Now you see what it is you must do. What your duty is as a descendant of Yakumo. If we use your gravikinesis, we can move the Extinction Belt. The time has come to open the path to the moon and get our revenge. I don't have that kind of power. It's possible if you connect to all the citizens through SAS. Even if it's just a normal person's brain, with thousands, tens of thousands connected together, your brain functions will expand exponentially. 
by connecting so many psionics, New Himuka's military strength will increase rapidly. Connecting civilians to SAS? Ridiculous! Only psionics can endure that kind of pain. Whether or not they can endure it is of no importance. The only thing we need are their brains. Actually, what the fuck, man? It would be best to eliminate their pesky personalities. And personality rehabilitation technology makes that easy. Stop it! People aren't a means to an end. And neither am I. Kaito, it's stupid to get revenge for a 2,000-year-old grudge. I think what the people from the moon did was wrong, too. They made the extinction belt. But do you really think it's right to force civilians into this? That is the will of Yakumo Sumeragi. Yakumo this, Yakumo that. He died a long time ago. Yakumo Sumeragi is alive. What are you... He is asleep. Deep beneath Suo. Even now, he is waiting for his revenge. Oh shit. Are you referring to cold sleep? Just like Kagura. I was shocked as well when our father first told me. And it was at that same time I realized the destiny that awaits. Grow up. There's so much you need to understand about what it means to be a Sumeragi. Destiny? Who cares? Because it's a 2,000 year old tradition? Because I'm a Sumeragi? That's just an excuse to stop yourself from thinking about it. I'll never be like you. I want to find the truth, evaluate it, and decide for myself. You'll lose the honor of our family name. I don't care. With or without the Sumeragi name, I'm still me. What? Yuito. You. I didn't think you would be so unreasonable. I suppose all I can do is force you to cooperate. I was hoping you'd listen to me, but I guess that's out of the question. Sorry, but I don't plan on getting caught now. You are betraying our father. I know I am. But I think Dad would understand. Fool. I have something important to tell you. Can you get to the safe zone? Tell me what? All right, let's just get out of here. Damn, man, Kaito is a dick. But I think on that note, we're going to go ahead and save and wrap on up. So thanks for tuning in, guys. I will catch you all in the next one.